Oh my god. Um, okay, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just like her. Uh, you normally get messed up by eating spicy chocolate. Chocolate's my weakness, my so trip tonight. So, we're gonna eat chocolate. Good to know. Yep. Uh, I, these came with a note. So, we have, uh, before we jump in, we have two things. These are both from Pepper Joe's. I've never had anything from Pepper Joe's. But Pepper Joe sent over his Raging Reaper chocolate bar and also a dessert sauce. I'm a big fan of dessert sauces. I am too. I'm so excited good. for what flavor this is, too. Never in a million years did I think that I would be, like, that I would... Uh, that dessert sauces would be a thing for me. I would care about them. I'd be into them. But I, man, do I like them. And they work really well for breakfast too. I'm hoping. Oh, I bet. I'm hoping this would be good on uh, French toast, pancakes, pancakes, waffles, waffles, uh, muffins, be a good yeah. man. Dude, you oh, could. But good before muffin. you get into, you could freaking put. You could take a bagel and some cream cheese and put this on top of that and do like a blueberry. This is blueberry, by the way. Okay. Before I'm getting ahead of myself. Give me the note, Brian. Please enjoy my newest creation, Blueberry Reaper Hot Sauce. The sauce is fairly runny compared to most hot sauces, so the dro so uh, the dropper was necessary. I'm going to probably fight you on the dropper. I, <laughs> also, I there is some heat. Have fun. Uh, the sauce tastes great on ice cream, donut holes, pulled pork, chicken, and so much more. Um, I'm agreeing with you. The chicken, I don't know about the pulled pork. I, I don't know. I, 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 I thought I that. I should try but I don't know. I, I'll keep I an open mind. I, I don't I'll know. keep an open mind. Okay. Uh, and he's throwing in our Reaper chocolate as well. Um, so, um, the gentleman's name is Quentin. To Quentin, thank you very much. All right, getting into it. We're going to do the chocolate last because I feel like it's going to pack the most punch, and we're going to talk about this uh, blueberry reaper sauce. Um, I love the the logo. By I the way. like that. I like I like that. Blue is my favorite color, number one, and that's like a true <laughs> blue, so it looks really good. It's pretty cool. It's like a like a reaper. Uh, yeah. What is it a Sith? 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 Scythe. Scythe? Scythe. Scythe. That's the word. Scythe. Scythe. Uh, stabbing a blueberry. That's funny. I That's like it. One. It's a good, good. It's good. It's witty. Okay. Ingredients. Blueberries, number one ingredient. Apple cider vinegar, orange juice, interesting. Uh, Reaper pepper mash, uh, light brown sugar, lime juice, scallion puree, and cinnamon. Interesting. Is the scallion the peppers? No, scallion is um, uh, like an onion. It's an onion. Oh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. That was very good. I, I need, missed it. I need, we need like cut cam. You need a cut cam. I need a cut cam. I commented on one of your videos I saw that. said you need, I a, need cut a cut I need a cut cam. <laughs> like right above you, here. I know, you guys will never be able to appreciate <laughs> the sharpness of this knife and opening one of these. It's, it's truly something special. Getting into it, I will open up this sauce, immediately take off the stopper, throw that away. Sauces don't have stoppers. I, saw, I read that note and I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I, I, I get it. He says it's a looser sauce. I, I can get hear it. I can hear it. It, it is definitely loose. Don't control my sauce. You know, don't 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 tell me what I can and can't do. I'm, with I'm my an sauce. adult. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I'm an adult here. <laughs> All right. Do as much or do as little as you'd like. Ooh. It is definitely a looser sauce. So. Oh, imagine this on a Pop Tart. Dude. It, I smell it. It's Imagine warm. this in a pop tart. Ooh, you it would make, hold the looseness in. You could make a reduction out of this. Yeah, dude. All right, so there's texture to this, and I love it. There's things floating in. I do see that. I'm assuming that it is a very blue, dark sauce, it's so blueberry. it's hard to see. All right, yeah, I'm trying not to shake and smell it. I smell the blue. I smell the it cinnamon. Smells, oh, cinnamon. The cinnamon and just dark fruit. It smells very sweet. I smell that cinnamon. That stands out. It just it's got it's very jammy. Mm -hmm. got yeah, a that's jammy a good one. kind of jammy. smell to it. All right, cheers. That's warm. <coughs> Ooh, that's warm. That's hot. Woo! That cinnamon stands out on the smell and the taste. Uh huh. I'm getting the cinnamon for sure. Mm hmm. Ooh, that's warm. That's a hot one. That's right. not what I expected. All right, I will say yes. I agree. It's way hotter yeah, than it's I thought. It's way it was hotter. It has a punch to it. This has got a punch. Um, I'm not tasting the Reaper that's in here. No, I'm not no. getting it. But boy, am I getting the heat from that Reaper. Yes, it is a sweet heat though. It's good. It is very good. And the heat, it hits you. It does what it's supposed to, and then it's just it doesn't keep building on you. Oh, it's building. It's building See, on it's me. It's not too bad on me, it's but it, on it, me. it hit me um, really hard. It hit me fast and hard. This is, I'm going to say, this is the hottest dessert sauce. Well, they're kind of, if best use is for dessert or for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. This is the hottest dessert sauce I've ever had. I agree with that. Um, I agree with that. Ripping hot. Yes. Um, 
It's very juicy. It's very jammy. Um, I got the blueberry. You're right. The cinnamon is absolutely. Imagine nice. like a like a morning smoothie. Yeah. With that. Yeah. That would be because how loose it is. That's absolutely good, dude. I would put this in like oatmeal. There's so many different things I would use this for. Well, it's a versatile sauce. It's very versatile. Um, I I enjoy it. Um, it was good. Good job, Quentin. Yeah, it's very good. Um, he did say that it's loose. Um, I do prefer sauces that generally have a little bit of a more of a texture to it. Um, but this is this is unique, but. I don't mind it as much um, with this particular sauce because, like he said, I think like a lot of the, usually for breakfast, like you could almost like treat this like a syrup. Oh you yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For like those waffles, um, <clears throat> French toast, pancakes, whatever you're gonna, you want to do, and you can always use it as like a dipping sauce. You yeah. Know? So I think that so I think it has uh, room that way, but it is ripping hot. So, it is. Um, it is immediately hot. Yeah. So be sure that you're uh, uh, ready, ready for, for it. ready for that punch. Yes. Dear Lord, um, this makes me way more scared of this chocolate bar. Yeah, me too. Me too. <clears throat> this is Pepper Joe's Raging Reaper chocolate bar, and there's two ingredients in this. Chocolate and Carolina Reaper powder. <laughs> He's so, been around since 89. I know, right? That's crazy. I know. So, warning, these bars are violently hot. They're made from authentic Carolina Reaper peppers. The Carolina Reaper holds a Guinness World Record for the world's hottest pepper with a Scoville rating of 1,569,000 Scoville heat units. To give you a comparison, a grocery store jalapeno is 1,500, so be careful. And he is right. I do think there are peppers that are technically hotter than this nowadays. Um, but, against World Records, the Reaper is the hottest. The Reaper is consistently hot. Little things, but I like how the packaging's red. I like the, 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 red, I like the, red, the red, red foil. Red ticket. I like the red foil. So it comes in squares. Looks like a dark chocolate. Yeah, it doesn't say if it's darker milk. It just says chocolate bar. Uh, oh, it's dark chocolate. It is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. So cocoa mass, sugar, cocoa butter, emulsifier, soy lectin, and then natural vanilla flavor. And then that's that's what's in the chocolate. And then Carolina Reaper powder. Man, I can already feel that in my stomach. It is uh, definitely going. It's going somewhere. Dude, this is... It's it's hot. That's sticking around. That it's is, hot. That is ripping. So I'm going to say, I think it comes in squares. I'm going in fresh. It does come in squares. So if you just want to do a square... I'm gonna do a square. If I could only do a little bit of a square, that's what I would do. No, but I know it's not. I have to. I'm doing a square. So, um, looking at it, I think I do see like bits and pieces of Reaper in it. Not too much, but I do see like bits and pieces. It smells like good chocolate, though. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like a good chocolate. Okay. I'm not getting heat. Um, I'm I'm seeing a little bit of pepper. Not too much, though. Honestly, not. Not an overwhelming enough. No. Like I'm seeing little tiny bits of fleck. Alright. I don't have it yet. I don't have it yet either. Can you play a joke on us? Is the blueberry sauce hotter than this? It's down. I'm down. I'm getting it now. <clears throat> you got that coming out of the back of your throat? No. <clears> throat> <clears throat> I still had a lot of residual left. Though. So did I. You're not getting that? No. No, I wonder if it's cooked uneven or something, or like made uneven. Man, I'm getting it in my <laughs> Oh my god. Um, okay, it's not. <clears throat> I will say I will say it's not like overwhelmingly hot. I think but, I had too much residual. But I'm definitely getting it. Dude, I had like I'm not gonna not it doesn't matter how much sauce we had, but I had twice as much sauce as you. You did. And I'm and I'm still getting it. Um, I think I took the end piece. Maybe it's not as much on the corners. That's an end. No, that's the middle piece. No, you had a corner piece too. I did have a corner <laughs> piece. Um, okay, so for me, like that's a very good chocolate. The chocolate, chocolate. was delicious. Very good chocolate. Um, I didn't get the. I'm not getting the Reaper burn at all in my in my mouth. I'm getting it in my throat for sure. 100 percent in my throat, dude. <laughs> Are you getting it now? <laughs> no. See, I can taste the Reaper now. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Have I built an immunity? Dude, it's definitely there. Am I a superhuman? You're something. It's definitely there. How are you not tasting that? Okay. There when it you, is. When you swallow, <laughs> oh, it comes in the back of your throat. There it is. Yeah, I just now. got you. Okay. My God. Okay. Okay. So, um, the, the quality of the chocolate is great. It, I'm not... <coughs> the first time I didn't get, um... I didn't get Reaper flavor. The second time I got a little bit of Reaper flavor. Yeah. It's top of my throat. It's hot. It's right there. That is warm. It's pretty freaking hot. That's crazy. 
Um, yeah, I'm assuming that the way that it's mixed. I'm, I'm assuming it's just all in the mixture. You just didn't and get enough. And some are squared. worse. Some spots are worse. Some are not as bad. So which I is, think I got lucky. Which on is my first good. To, which is good to know. Yes. Um, the quality of it is, 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 is very. My nose good. and stuff. And it's just, it keeps rising. It's going up. It, it is. Going. It's um. Um. It's there. It's definitely not. <laughs> it's there's no mouthburn at all for me here. It's definitely in the back of my throat. This is probably one of my favorite. Hot chocolates, though. You think so? Yeah, that was. It's good. We I don't mean, do. We don't do a lot of chocolates. In no, there, no. Like, but it seems like pepper. you always bring me in. I know. For it, we've always done chocolates that have extracts in them. I know. Is, uh, uh, a more pleasing way to. This is a. Uh, like this. Well, it's very well done. It's yeah. hot and it tastes good. I would say so. To break it down, um, I say that this chocolate bar is very approachable. That yeah. A yeah. person that like can, that casually enjoys spicy, mm -hmm. spicy food is going to get enjoyment out of this. Like, I could probably sit down and eat this chocolate bar and be like, this is really good. It's good. I mean, and yeah. the fact that it's got two ingredients. I like yeah. that a lot. Absolutely. Um, then when it comes to this, this was <laughs> shockingly hotter than I thought it was going that to be. That sucker punched me. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it got me. It was <laughs> way hotter than I thought it was going to be. I can feel it in my stomach right uh -huh. now. That was, yeah. Um, I would use this. Um, I, would, I personally would... Use this for breakfast items. Mm -hmm. I think uh, mixing it with like a base, you know, so like like having whipped cream available, something like that that's gonna yep. like cut through that heat a little bit um, would be a good decision. Also using it in ex the exact opposite is like ice cream, um, things like that I think would also be really good. I, I would think that you could also probably make a reduction out of this and you'll be able to use it in like more savory um, kind of things. I'm kind of getting where he's going with like the pulled pork now and the chicken. I think it could work. I personally I I'd use it as a base. Yeah, I would. I would. Uh, I would use it like as like a like a marinade, or I would grill with it, and I would get some like some uh, caramelization going on, and I think it would kind of tone down the pepper a little bit in it. And I think it'd be it could be really really nice. Or use it as a base for a barbecue sauce. Um, I, just, I like that idea. You know, because there is some like there's some you sugar. Can make, you can make syrup out of it. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, like pancake syrup I, with it. Like, yeah, I think there's a lot of. Um, uh, There's a lot of potential. A lot of potential, a lot of possibilities with this sauce. But regardless, uh, two very, very well done products. Very good products. That are very different. Yep. Um, uh, very good stuff. Well, anyways, thank you to Quentin from Pepper thank Joe's you. for sending thank it you. over. Uh, it was very kind of you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, Justin, for joining me. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.